Hello friends. Here it is another suggested video on the anomalous secondary thickening of bignonia. This is answer for the essay question which is a sure question in your exam. Either this or any other two of the examples in your syllabus is a cent percent sure question for essay and hope this answer will help you score more. Please comment us your experience on writing this essay after watching our video and also send us your suggestions and as per your needs. Anomalous secondary thickening in bignonia in plants the growth in length of the stem and its branches, primary growth, the increase in diameter of axis as a result of the activities of lateral meristem, secondary growth, monocots and some herbaceous dicots possess only primary growth gymnosperms and woody dicots also possess secondary growth along with primary growth secondary thickening in dicot stems the fascicular cambium inter and intra which lies in between xylem and phloem in each vascular bundle is responsible for the secondary growth in steel and is known as intrastellar secondary growth followed by intrastellar growth there will be the formation of a new secondary tissue in the cortex periderm by the activity of another cambium called cork cambium or phelogen and this is the extrastellar secondary growth note monocot stems and roots generally do not undergo secondary growth due to absence of cambium anomalous secondary growth in most dicotyledonous stems during secondary growth intrafascicular cambium joins with interfascicular cambium to form ring which produces secondary phloem outside and secondary xylem inside the deviation from the normal pattern of secondary growth can be termed as anomalous secondary growth. Reasons for animality, abnormal behavior or abnormal position of the cambium. Anomalous secondary structure in bignonia stem. Bignonia, a member of family. Bignoniaceae of dicotyledonous plants. Position of cambium normal and primary structure also does not show much difference. But young stems shows ridges and furrows. Initially vascular cambium functions normally that is, produces more amount secondary xylem inwards and less secondary phloem outwards, but, soon after this, cambium functions abnormally in four places at right angle to each other where more phloem is produced externally and only less amount of xylem internally. In other regions normal functioning of cambium occurs, xylem, more and phloem less, thus formation of four wedges occurs in the secondary xylem which now becomes cross-shaped due to the pushing of xylem in the normal region alone and normal ring form of vascular cambium is cut into eight bits four wedges and four ridges and the phloem abnormally formed is included in the wedges of xylem in each region support of schlerenchyma bands prevents the pressing of phloem by neighboring secondary xylem exact example bignohiangwiskati with four wedges and four ridges in most others irregular cambial Behavior forms more number of wedges of xylem. Function of animality, acts as shock, absorber, adaptation to climbing habitat, of bignonia which are perennial climbers. Wow wonderful now you have completed one of the important essay question. Hope enjoyed. Thank you for watching and the support from yours guys. We will be back soon with another interesting education video. Till then bye bye.